down with shot of me illustrating. Today is the day for restocking all the stickers that sold out. It's got the little butt as the main illustration. pancake day everyone by the time you're watching this it won't be pancake day but today is Shrove Tuesday in the studio vlog I actually want to get to work on doing my cherry blossom spring collection so if you watched last week's day in the life of running a small business you will have seen I did these sketches and I decided that this year I'm going to change it up I actually had a plan to do a daffodil collection for spring but when I was away I got really inspired by the cherry blossoms that I seen everywhere and decided to ask my beautiful mashies over on Patreon whether I should switch it up and do cherry blossoms rather than daffodils and maybe save the daffodil collection for next year and the majority of people said go for the cherry blossoms so I decided to do the sketch uh, with Pudding in his little cherry blossom outfit and I want to turn about three of them into enamel pins I'll need to get those pins sent off like in this vlog this week and then I actually have like a screen that I need to write as well. Also, it is a beautiful day outside. <sighs> Why does the sun make you so, so happy? Spring is on the horizon, so super excited for that. It's made me well chuffed this morning. So I'm gonna get to work on all the boring admin -y stuff and then I'll catch up with you in a little bit. <laughs> I just received my new iced coffee glasses, which I'm excited to use. I just bought them off Amazon. I've been using like a Starbucks tumbler one, which was gifted to me and I absolutely love it. But truth be told, it's been holding like loads of bad smells. If anyone knows how to get rid of them, please let me know in the comments because literally it smelled like rotten milk and I don't know why. I literally have washed it a thousand times and then I even added like uh, washing up liquid and now it smells like washing up liquid. So I actually bought some glass ones as well. You always need a morning coffee. Oh, they're nice. For I come into work. Oh, they're really big straws. I wanted skinny straws. So these are what I got. The two little like mason jar ones for my iced coffee. But I thought they looked really cute. They come with these bubble tea type straws, like really thick ones but I don't like really drinking out of these, so I'll probably just pop um, a small one through there. They look quite cute for coffee making, don't they? I don't think anyone actually cares. Do you like seeing this type of stuff on these studio vlogs? I don't know. I'm actually going to make a little pancake day post now, and then I'm gonna head home. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Today, I want to get to work on designing those new cherry blossom enamel pins. Well, first of all, I actually have to do the video script that I was meant to do yesterday, so I'm gonna get to work on that, and then let's turn these sketches into enamel pins. Oh my goodness, I'm not kidding. I have been writing that video your script for the best part of two hours can you even believe it anyway i've done that and i've sent it all off always do the worst thing first in your day and it makes you feel so good i'm now in like the best mood ever which means i can do the fun bits which is creating those enamel pins so i asked my mashies over on patreon which bumble butt pin they thought would be the best after 
thought that number one and number three were actually going to be the most popular but I was so wrong number two actually was the most popular bumble button so I think I'm going to make that one into an enamel pin it's very heavily detailed but I think it will look really really cute so we're going to get that illustration up and I also have a few different illustrations that I want to make into enamel pins as well I'm going to do different pins as part of this collection so let's get our iPad out and get to work on illustrating shall we this is the one I'm going to be focusing on first enamel pin and I am super excited about this pin. I think this might be one of the most detailed pins that I've actually ever done. Did just like pinch and zoom out and realised that you couldn't really see the eye details underneath so I've erased those. It's always good to like kind of zoom out to see what size you want it. I'm thinking this is going to be a relatively big pin, maybe one and a half, two inches. Also going to make such a cute sticker I think, like a die cut sticker. This time I need to remember to ask for glitter in Bumble puts wings so that's that pin done i am now going to get to work on all the other pins before we get to work on the speed paint um, i did do a little reference image because i had the buds that were closed on the enamel pin i wanted to know what color the cherry blossoms actually were so i zoomed in to some reference photos and they could either be dark pink or green but i decided the green would work against the pink really nicely so the color palette would look really really pretty so that's why i decided to do like the little little green buds but you can actually get little dark pink buds I thought that'd be cute but it just gives a little bit of contrast to the pin so let's get to work on the other pin shall we I have just been finishing up the enamel pin designs which you will have seen. Dean has been working on a big second sale which actually probably will have gone live uh, a week before you're watching this but look at all these that he's organised so many. He actually spent the day printing a load of mouse mats and I've just noticed over here he's kept a little mouse mat for himself. Anyway I'm super happy with how this product collection is turning out. Usually what I do is I change the Pantone colours myself but Photoshop has now got this subscription thing that you have to sign up to Pantone with and I don't think I sent the file to my manufacturer right last time and he managed to match the colours 
even better than probably I would have matched them. I'm gonna actually just send in the files and see how it turns out. So that's what I'm gonna do now and then it'll be time for home time. Tomorrow I'm actually going to be spending the day restocking stickers and getting those crickets out because we sold out of our sticker packs. Sticker packs seem to be like one of the most popular items in our store. I remember when my first studio vlog ever like blew up on YouTube when it was on Creator on the Rise. We'd done these pudding stickers and I literally just was me and my little cricket machine doing it all, which is what I do now, but now I run four cricket machines to make it faster. And we kept selling out of those sticker packs over and over. So we sold out of a few sticker packs from the last launch. So tomorrow will be a sticker making day. So I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early, maybe, I don't know. It looks like we've still got quite a lot of the Valentine's pudding, so I may need to count these and not restock these today. Today is the day for restocking all the stickers that I sold out. Oh, I can raise this desk. Oh, I can do it standing. Oh, I don't knock it. I forgot I put this one over here. That's way better. Yeah, that's so much better. Oh my god, I love it. Today is the day that I'm restocking the sticker packs, but I have just seen we've still got a big bunch of uh, Valentine's pudding sticker packs available. So I must have miscalculated how many I actually made. But we have got a few sold out ones. Like we've got the winter woolly ones, gingy and spice ones, um, and also the pumpkin ones. Believe it or not, like pumpkin and Halloween stuff like sells all year round. So let's go, shall we? We got a return um, from ages ago. I need to cover the address, but I forgot about this cute, adorable catnip stamp we used to do. I'm gonna try and bend it. Look at this little stamp we used to do with Happy Mail. We've got it over there somewhere as well. I might have to start putting this on, but maybe getting like a pink stamp or something, cause look how cute catnip looks. Oh, is that the one that I ran out of ink? Like literally this is 2021. That letter was sent and it's just been returned in 2023. Where the heck, it's been on a wild adventure. I'm going to open it up and see what's inside it. It must have been ordered on Halloween because it's our Halloween wrapping paper. Ooh, what's inside here? Our beautiful cards from 2021. Our Polko Deco and Valentine stickers. This is, like, I'm not being funny. This has been around the world. This went all the way to Kuwait and back again. And look how good the packaging still is. Flat. It looks brand new, flat. A nice, this has been missing across the world for two years. At least we know our packaging works. Oh, this is when I did the Baguette Cafe sticker bundles. I'm sorry, but I am well impressed with how that hasn't been bent and how well that has kept. At least that's a good testament to our wrapping skill. <laughs> Actually, talking about shipping bundles, uh, sticker bundles. I wonder if I should do that for the Sakura collection because I'll be doing some stickers and stuff. <laughs> I literally hit record at the last time. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to bring my sticker bundles back. So when I used to launch a collection, I would do it all together. So this was the Baguette. Uh, bakery and cafe and you got all of the stickers and the waterproof stickers included in the sticker bundle so yeah i don't know whether to bring those sticker bundles back it's just putting them and packaging them all together which takes some time let me know in the comments if you like the idea of bringing sticker bundles i don't know if i'll be able to bring it out for the sakura collection in time but it would be nice wouldn't it hey, we really are going to make some sticker packs now let's go shall we
some seconds. I think this one needs calibrating again. The little butt is the main illustration. restocking some of the sticker packs I did some off camera because it takes too long if I just do everything on camera. Dean has just updated the second sale so by the time you're watching this there may still be some seconds left. Uh, if not and you want to make sure you are there straight on like sales, launches, especially second sales because they're normally one of a kind and your chance to grab like a bargain. Come on over and follow us on Instagram because that's where I put like all the updates and the product announcements. Oh, I've got a blocked ear again. What the heck is going on? Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. I'll see you next week when we will be refining, getting our planner out and developing the full Sakura spring range, including making a new washi stand. So currently Bumble Butt is sold out in the washi stands, uh, but we still have the Frogger ones left. But I have an idea to do a Sakura one as well, which would be really, really cute with Cherry Blossom one. So join me next week for that. Alright then, thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.